Let's solve this system of nonlinear equations. The system's called nonlinear because the bottom equation has these squares in it. The top equation is actually itself linear. It's the, the equation of a line. And in fact, let's get started by graphing the two equations because this bottom equation is the equation of a circle with radius five centered at the origin. So here's my circle of radius five. And now I need to worry about graphing the top equation. So let's get y by itself so that it's in a nice slope intercept form. Taking x away from both sides would give me that minus three y is equal to minus x minus five dividing by minus three tells me this is the line y equals 1 third x plus 5 thirds. So my y-intercept is 5 thirds, or 1 and 2 thirds, so some point right about there, and I know the slope is 1, so I go over 1, excuse me, up 1 and over 1, 2, 3. Having graphed the system somewhat accurately, I now expect two solutions. I should see a solution over here and a solution over here. So now I need to solve the system. And when I look at it, since this equation only has x to the first and y to the first, and this equation only has the variables raised to the second power, I know I'm not going to be able to eliminate any of the variables by adding. Um, so I'm going to have to use the substitution method. Well, fortunately, when I went to graph it, I've already gotten y by itself, so I might try plugging that in there. But I actually think it's an easier approach on this problem to take this top equation and get x by itself. Both ways will work. You can do it either way, but I wanted to point out in this video that if I get x by itself, I don't have to deal with so many fractions. And when I substitute this in for y, I'm going to have to square it. So the arithmetic is going to work out a little bit easier if I solve for x and make that substitution rather than solving for y and making well, that substitution. All right, so 3y minus 5 all squared because 3y minus 5 goes in for x plus y squared is equal to 25. So now I have a nice happy equation in one variable. I only have y's to deal with here. And so I need to multiply this out. So I get 9y squared. And let's see, minus 30y plus 25 plus y squared equals 25. If we subtract 25 from both sides, the 25s will cancel. 9y squared plus 1y squared gives me 10y squared minus 30y on this side. So now all I have to do is do a little bit of factoring to find my values of y. And because I have a quadratic equation, I know I'm going to get two values. And that makes me very happy because I've seen in my diagram that I think there were going to be two solutions. So let's factor out a 10y. So I have 10y times y minus 3, letting me know that y is either 0 or positive 3. So now all I have to do is find the x coordinates that match those y values. Unfortunately, I have an equation here that says x equals 3y minus 5. Plugging in a 0 for y tells me that x is 5. So 5 comma 0 is one of my solutions. Plugging in 3 for y tells me that 3 times 3 is 9 minus 5. 4 comma 3 is my other solution. And so when I look at the graph I drew, I see 4 comma 3 as a solution, and that one's not too bad. I missed over here a little bit, but that's okay. 5 comma 0 is my other solution.